Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to another video about the ESP8266. Uh, in my previous videos, I used the ESP8266 in combination with a solar panel to uh, measure environmental data. If the uh, solar panel generated enough electricity and power to fully power the ESP without any issues, which is not the case. Um, so in this video, I'm going to do a little investigation on uh, on this boy, uh, mostly regarding the uh, CPU frequency and the power usage, uh, and also in combination with the uh, response times of the MQTT uh, sketch uh, with the 80 megahertz and the 160 megahertz. So I suggest we jump straight in. I've connected my LED bench power supply to the ESP through the um, amp meter so we switch it to a mini amp range turn on this and I'm going to press the record button now this um, can I, so I'm going to measure the average over a period of two minutes three two one So that's a little bit higher, 77.13 compared to 45 and the time to connect is roughly around the same I guess. We can view that later in the editing of, uh, of this video. Uh, now I'm going to do a uh, yeah, so called ping test, send a packet and uh, see what the time difference is before it sends uh, a packet back. So uh, we move to the, to the computer right now. So I'm connected to my local MQTT uh, broker. And we're going to send a package to the power topic. And subscribe to the power and to the state topic. And the ESP will send the same message back to the state topic once it receives the uh, original message. And by that we can uh, see the, well, basically the ping time of the ESP at 80 megahertz. So if we press publish, we should see in one, and that's correct. And we are going to note, can I copy and paste? Oh, I can't. And so I'm only going to uh, note down the seconds. The average difference, um, I have four out of five, Tests uh, had a, a delay between the send and the receive of 0 0.07 microseconds, and the last one had a difference, a time difference of 0 0.06 microseconds at 80 megahertz. Now I'm going to flash the 160 megahertz sketch, and uh, we will see what the uh, time difference is then. So I've uploaded the 160 megahertz sketch. And yeah, let's see the uh, the results. Uh, hold the power reset button and press. Now we're doing a connect test. So it consumed eighty. Speed test. Oh, whoa. Um, it took eight dot nineteen seconds to connect at one hundred and sixty megahertz. So let's do a, a connect plus idle average for 
two minutes. How am I going to lose? I'm going to press it with my thumb. Wait for two minutes. And again, we're almost at two minutes. So at the two minute mark, I'm going to press the hold button. That is right about now. 83.69 and that is 9 milliamps higher than the average of the uh, 80 megahertz so let's uh, let's go to the um, package testing again same procedure five messages but this time at a frequency of 160 megahertz and we note the different timings we get so we see about a 0 0.01 microsecond uh, decrease in the time it takes to reply and and i think that's um, within the margins of the test you know it goes over wi-fi other wi-fi networks and such and such and such uh, but let me calculate the amount of power that's being used uh, in milliamp hours so we can compare the two. So it's conclusion time. Uh, I've gathered all the results and I've calculated uh, the outcomes with Excel. Uh, the 160 megahertz uh, Arduino sketch, it's the, the, the pink times are not that much higher. You won't notice the difference and i think that's mainly because of the network uh, mqtt uses tcp and there's a little bit of an overhead involved in tcp protocol and i think that's the main issue and cause of the um, uh, of the performance not improving at 160 megahertz but if we switch to the power usage and we power usage and take a look at the different scenarios connect plus idle and connect plus idle at 160 uh, for two minutes we can see that the 160 megahertz consumed uh, a little bit more in milliamp hours uh, but the connect sequence is a lot shorter it really is it, it's about the half of the 80 megahertz and that is because uh, the Arduino sketch uses SSL certificates and there is no hardware support for SSL certificates inside the ESP8266 so all the uh, certificate processing is done software wise and with a clock speed of 160 megahertz that is roughly done twice as fast as the 80 megahertz sketch but that does mean that the uh, ESP consumes more power um, overall with connect and idle. But for the solar panel project, we don't really need an idle time. We can just connect, publish a packet and then go to deep sleep. So for it, it really depends on your usage, uh, what's the best. But for my uh, usage, for the solar panel project, um, I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going with 160 megahertz because it's faster. The speed increase is higher relative to the power consumption. So it's, you know, uh, the 160 megahertz sketch uh, in its connect sequence consumes about uh, 0 0.20 milliamp hours less than the 80 megahertz and you know the result is the same and if you run at 160 and you uh, go to deep sleep within a second i think your uh, appliance uh, and your battery is going to last a lot longer because everything is going to be quicker so that's my conclusion it really depends on your project What's the best uh, CPU frequency? What uh, would be the most ideal situation is that during heavy uh, tasks, 
like SSL certificate, encoding, decoding, don't know what, what it does internally. Uh, we bump up the CPU frequency to 160 and then drop it back down to 80 for the, um, yeah, for the loop, the endless loop of the sketch. That would be the ideal solution, but I don't think that's possible with the Arduino ESP8266 SDK. But let me know if, uh, if it is or if they're working on that future. So thanks for watching this uh, quick uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you back soon. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.